Hi everyone, it's Laura Binding and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these little links on this necklace here. Now these are done using the Mobius chainmail link or weave and I'm going to show you how to do the Mobius and then how to actually connect them to be able to make these little sort of drop connectors. The materials that you need for this project are some lovely um, 8 mil gemstones or whatever size you want really. I have these beautiful carved flower black agates. I also have these beautiful faceted 4 mil black agates. I then have a mixture of jump rings in three different sizes. So we have here some 3 mil, 4 mil and 5 mil inner diameter jump rings in champagne gold colour. The tools that I'm going to use for this are going to be these short chisel nose pliers. These ones are by Zeron and these bent chain nose pliers and again these are Zeron. However, if you don't have the Zeron tools, if you have just two pairs of um, chain nose or flat nose pliers then that will be okay but I just personally prefer using the zero ones I find them a bit easier. Now you will just need your basic uh, flush cutters round nose pliers and again your chain nose pliers for doing the wrap loops on the actual carved flower bead. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to do the Mobius link and the connections um, that I've used in the necklace and a pair of earrings which I'll show you in a moment are basically a collection of built up around Mobius links. So I'm actually using the 5mm in a diameter jump rings here um, because they're going to give me a generous sort of hole in the middle for me to be able to add additional jump rings and also you'll be able to see that swirl effect easier. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, the first top tip I can give you is just have a quick check. If you're going to be keeping any of them closed, just pick each one up and just give them a little sort of wiggle to make sure that they are aligned because sometimes they might just be very slightly aligned which means that they may snag and you don't want that. Hopefully might be able to see that on that one. Just see it's very slight, but that will make a difference. So I'm just going to come in and just straighten that. And just make sure you take the time to do that. It will be worth it when you've got your finished piece of jewellery. So what I'm going to do is pick up my first jump ring and I want to open this one out. So I've you'll find the sort of the cut line, the saw line. And you just try and find that and make sure I tend to make sure it's at the top. And then I'm going to come in with my second pair of pliers and I'm just going to very gently open this out. So you can see how I've opened that. I didn't pull my pliers like this. You need to open and close it like you would a door. Otherwise it will distort and it will not go back to a round jump ring. What I'm going to do is just gently come down and pick one of these jump rings up and then close that back. Now when I place this down you'll see it's already starting to get that swirl motion. So I'm now going to pick up my next jump ring, open this one out. And what I want to do is go right into the middle of both those jump rings and I'm just going to kind of scoop that up and close that. Now when I place this back down, you need to just maybe turn the jump rings around, flip them over. But when you do that, that is your little Mobius link. Very quick, very easy, very effective. I'm now going to show you how we can add this into a bit more of an elaborate design. So now I'm going to show you how to actually put this into a component. So I'm going to show you quickly a earring that I've done using the component and you can see you've got your gemstone there, three Mobius links and then they're connected and this is a piece of 0.8 gauge wire with some of the smaller agates um, and I've just linked it on to create this kind of effective earring. So I've used it like this. I'll also show you at the end how I've added it into some necklaces as well. But we're going to go ahead and do this section just here. So I've gone ahead and prepared the components for this piece. Um, obviously I'm just doing one connection at the moment, one component. However, obviously if you were to make several, I would just prepare them all in little batches. What I've done is I've popped a head pin onto one of the agates, the flowers, and I have just done a wrap loop in that. I have three Mobius links ready. These again I made using the 5mm in the diameter jump rings. 
I have five of the 4mm Inner Diameter Jump Rings opened, ready for when they get added. And then I have three of the 3mm um, Inner Diameter Jump Rings here, of which two are closed and one is open. Okay, so I'm going to start off by picking up my opened 3mm Jump Ring. And I want to just pick up one of my Mobius links and try and make sure that it does stay. Sometimes, as I said, the jump ring will flip over and it loses that swirl. So make sure it does that before you pick it up. And I'm just going to scoop all of that, um, that component up. Then I'm going to take the gemstone and I'm going to just pop that on as well. Taking my pliers, I'm going to close that. So when I do this and place that down, you've got that. And again, another little three mil jump ring on the other side and a shepherd hook. Beautiful pair of earrings. But we're not going to do that. We're going to carry on. So what I want to do now is take one of my open four mil jump rings. I'm going to scoop up another one of these Mobius links. Again, just making sure that it is as it should be. Oops, it's, there we go. Right into the middle, getting all three of those jump rings. And then picking up this section here and, and connecting them. I'm then going to take my chain nose pliers or my bent chain nose pliers and just close that jump ring. So it's starting to look like this. I'm then going to take another of my 4mm jump rings and I'm going to place it in to the jump ring Mobius section that we added. First of all, that is connected to the gemstone. So this one just here, so you can see, just there. And then I'm just going to pick up the other component or sort of Mobius and add that to the jump ring. Taking your pliers, just close that. And then when you place this down, you've got a triangle forming. Now I'm going to take another of my four mil. And what I want to do is I want to go into one of the top Mobiuses and hook and scoop up the second one as well. So I'm going to pick the whole piece up, put that jump ring in and then bring it up and through the opposite side. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And then close that jump ring and then when I place it down, give it a second to sort itself out, maybe take a chip around those pliers just to separate them all. And there you have the component and then the other four jump rings are basically for you to connect this to your necklace or your earrings or however you're going to do that so again taking one of the four mils I'm going to pick up one of the closed three mils and I'm just going to flatten this out and then I want to just come in so you can see there and catch that and then repeat on the opposite side. So now, this gives me a little connection just here. So I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. So again, pick up that closed jump ring, go to the other side and just grab that sort of little Mobius there. Just go right through all three of the rings and then close this. Place it down. And you've got your little section ready to go. So what you would do is actually use the two small closed ones here to actually feed it on. So I'm going to take a piece of 
um, point 0.8 wire just to show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to show you quickly. Here I've just added some small agates just onto a piece of wire just so you can see. So I've added one of the agates, popped on the small closed jump ring, three more agates, the other side of the connection and then another agate and so you can see that's how it's going to hang. Uh, for the earrings that I showed you earlier I simply folded these wires on the outside up, added an additional two, popped some jump rings in between it and made that the earring. Um, so just to show you there and then for the necklace itself so for the necklace itself you'll see here that this is beading thread and the exact same technique I just sort of broke it up a little bit with some jump rings um, and then on the main focal drop here I did a wrap loop with a Mobius again and some drops so you can see how it really sort of goes across just quickly show you on this piece here how I've created again a wirework sort of rose here and then we have a little Mobius connection just here of the three of them. So you can see that one just there. And then I've done rosary linking and just spaced them out with little Mobius links. So, you know, I think it's a really beautiful weave. It's very easy and very effective and I just love the look it creates. So I hope you like this design. I hope you like the project and I look forward to seeing your makes.